Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And yes, we are finally producing, getting some automation going, we've got some stuff being produced. Uh, it's nowhere near what we're going to need, but it's definitely a start. Uh, sadly, as you can see, uh, uh, the power situation is just barely holding up. Now, I was thinking about building more generators, but that might not be the best idea, because that means more I'd have to fill up. Uh, so what we're going to do, since we have the overclock technology, the pod has come back, uh, we're, we are going to unlock a few things, and I probably don't have the supplies on me, I never do. Uh, first we're going to unlock this, so we're going to do that, I need plates, and I need rods, and I need wire, so I'll grab everything we have ready, and we will go from there. So wires, rods, and plates, and I'm doing this one first, because this one shouldn't actually send the ship up. Do that, it should unlock, just free it up right away. Oh, okay, actually two and a half minutes. All right, the next one we're going to do is we are going to be doing conveyor walls, and that's why you get stairs, because, uh, yeah, I'm having trouble getting up there. Other than that, there's not too much we really, really need in here. Uh, after this, it's going to be going to the space elevator. The space elevator, we got to go ahead and make, uh, we have to make, I think we need 75, 25 or 75 of these, so you can see the recipe is four plates and 24 screws, which isn't bad. We also need rotors, three rods and 22 screws. This might be an issue. Uh, we're going to need power upgrades, uh, or power shards, needless to say, and uh, yeah, uh, they're going to cost more fuel, we might have to get more generators going, but one thing I do need to do is find out. Oh, yeah, don't hold it. That's right, I'm so used to so many different games. Uh, yeah, we gotta cut down some trees while we're out. Uh, wood is the best to use for biomass. Uh, later on, late, late, late in the game, you can actually get, uh, turn the, the carapaces into biomass. One gets you like 200, and I'm thinking like, what's really the point? When you're at that point, you're already burning coal or fuel, or even at that point, you got a reactor or two going, depending on when you find it. And I'm going up this way because I know there's one up here. Uh, you can see it right here, right? Good old power slugs. Yes. Uh, there's three different types if you don't know. There's the green ones, which get you one power shard. Then you get the yellow ones, which get you two power shards. And then you find purple ones that get you five. And they're really hard to find. They're usually, the harder it is to find them, the more of a out of the way location they are, the better they are, or the the better quality they're going to be, right? This is what I like about the chainsaw, you got all these bushes here, just cut one thing and it clears out the entire area. Love it. Getting biomass for days, I made sure the generators are full too when we were out. But yeah, there's one there, I know of that guy. Uh, grab, grab that one up there. I thought that was one around a tree somewhere gotta watch out too this is uncharted territory so yeah that might be a bad year too I will deal with them when the time comes and I don't think I have too much here so let's head down let's see what we can find pick up some of this while we're at it burning fuel to get fuel kind of ironic isn't it but hey this is just simulation of the real world Okay, go down, we'll get our little zappy ready. Can't wait to get the Xenon Basher. I love that thing. I think packs a punch. Let's get this ugly thing down. Get some more biomass and go grab my slug over there. Make sure we got no no company. We are good. Run for it. So it gets us two upgrades. Uh, I have been thinking about it. Maybe it would be best just to build another generator. Because another generator gets us another 20 megawatts. Whereas one power shuttle shard. One, blah, blah. one power shard will only get us an extra 10 I think. Because it adds 50%. Anything down here? No. Uh, there was. What was the other ones? 
sort of remember, you can see them really good at night. They just stick out like a sore thumb. No, that's not one up there. But I know there's a couple of pink ones over there. There's a whole bunch of them over in that direction. Pink, sorry, purple, pink. Either way. Okay, and the reason why we got to get more power going is today we got to start building assemblers. Now, assemblers, I do believe. Look at that, 15, 15 megawatts. One of those generators only produces 20. So we're going to have to be probably building two more generators, I think. But let's go run up this way and see what else we can find. Uh, haven't lost power yet, and that's one good thing about the game is when you hit hear power when your power goes out doesn't matter where you are you hear it go out okay let's run over here chains are at the ready I gotta make sure not to cut those things down too because that really is my food food supply there are there other stuff I can get but you know what now I know there's Somewhere around here is like a poison swamp. There is one of them on top of there. But we're not going to worry about that right now. See, and then this is the other iron nodes I was talking about. I've got to be careful. There you are. Thought I saw you. Where are you? So we've got limestone here. We've got a three iron. Four by the looks of it. Maybe three only. There's a power slug. I am so sorry about that. Alright. This is how we do it in Satisfactory. Oh. Don't want that one up there. Oh. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be somebody here waiting for me. I'll just place it. Oh, I can't. It's got to be on the bottom, or else I can't actually jump up. Okay, up we go, that's what, three now, good, and we already researched one, I'm going to leave this here because we'll be back for it, but yeah, we got one iron, two iron, three iron, that's limestone over there, Let's see what's going to find, this is about the time too where you start seeing the power slugs, because they're really easy to see at night. I know I've mentioned that already. Uh, day cycle is fairly quick, so shouldn't have to wait here too long. There should be one up top here somewhere. I do believe, but this is all poisonous. We just don't see the the effects right now. Anyway, let's head down. Uh, I believe these were impure. We might have to pull these in normal. Ooh. Uh, I was using this to steel because I know there's coal somewhere around that direction when we get to it. Okay, so three normal. That really comes in handy. Alright. Well, are these guys not around? I could actually use their, their corpses right now. Hello. Speak of the demon. Oh, and uh, I have bad reaction time today. Come on, you. Where are you? Oh, he's gonna hurt me. Stop running around. Okay, I gotta eat. Oh, not, not copper. Okay, now there's usually you travel in pairs, so there might be another one around here. I think I just need two more of those. Possibly. Uh, f fortunately, it's about as tough as we're going to get in this general area. So we don't have too much to worry about. It's kind of strange. I don't s there it is. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, it doesn't look poisonous to me. Apparently it is. Let's go over here. I think there was a couple up here. We can get the scanner, but I don't have the scanner update, you can call it. Not game update, but something you actually have to research and do. Yes, yeah, so we hop up here. 
And maybe Buddy can give me a lift to the next one. I highly doubt it. Okay. Now, these are fairly easy to see when you're close because you get the little particle effects. Oh, I remember this area. This is, I think, the very first time I played I was up here. I think so. I can't remember. Alright, let's have a look. Just see what we can find. See if there's anything we can see from up here at night. See, you got more iron here. Where's the hub? Well, oh, it's right there. Yeah, I could have sworn there was more slugs over in this direction here somewhere. You can see one. No, that's not one. I know they're having uh, LOD issues with them. Oh, look at that. There's one right behind, behind the elevator. Good thing we came this way. Oh, that gets us four, which means we can produce a lot quicker. Awesome. Alright. Well, I'm going to go grab that one, and then I'll meet you back when it's time to start building and upgrading some stuff. Okay, and I'm back with uh, like 1400 biofuel, so we're actually doing really good on that front. And I'm thinking about it uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and extend this. I actually need more concrete. Uh, this thing should be filling up pretty good. Uh, I put two of them in there. I might have to put another one or two. Uh, I'm going to try to do a bit of a push to get to coal, because coal is where we get automated power. Uh, like automated fuel production like right now is the only thing we can't actually do manually or automatically right now uh, what was I doing? I was going up here to build a foundation to put for more more organic burning machines to generate power so I can create more organic burning machines that was a waste of whatever okay two more biomass burners we'll do one there, we'll spin it around just because we can, and one more here. If I can click properly. Okay. Uh, wires, of course I don't have any cables. Of course I don't. Let's make some quickly. Uh, that's another thing I want to get going today too, is cables, because we don't have any. Uh, what we are going to do is try to get these automated and these automated. So we're going to need two assemblers for that, which means... We're going to need at least another 30 megawatts. Fortunately, we don't need anything else running except for those two extra machines, so we should be good. Uh, we'll go ahead and make these while we're at it. Make a little bit of room there. I love that sort button. Uh, I have limestone. Let's make some concrete. Get that out of the way, too. That clears up some space there. Uh, I did want to get stairs, so we'll go ahead and do that one. Uh, put that wire in those rods and those plates okay so that gets us stairs so eventually I'll put some stairs in so we can actually climb up all right make up some cables and I'll make up some more wire too because I use some of it and it always helps to have always have more cable and go. now we now I can hook all these two up to the grid so hi not quite I need a stepping stool. There we go. I love that building tool. I really do. Alright, and uh, yeah, I'll do that just for the sake of it. And perhaps if I hit the right button. Okay, so we are maxed out there, so we're going to have to come off of that one, go there, like so, and so. Okay, we add you, add you. So now we're 120, we are using 70, so we have 50 to play with. So we can get... Now here's what I'm wondering. Let's, uh, we got to check this copper deposit first. Uh, right now we just have one miner. That, that one miner overclocked can only do, I think, 180 per minute. Uh, I believe the construction needs, constructor needs 45 per minute. Right now it's out outputting 60 per minute. Uh, depending on what type of quality this is normal so we should be able to get a fair amount out of here so as you can see it produces 60 per minute and we can max this out no problem with speed upgrades so 
what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to split this line off, go to a second set of s a second smelter. I'm about watching that thing come back in. It's so cool. Watch this. It's like everything's all mechanical, and that's the closest thing you see to life other than something that's trying to kill you when you turn when your back's turned. I actually enjoy it. I really do. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put another smelter in here. Uh, smelter. I'm not using the same one because we don't need it now, but we will need it down the road. Uh, things can get pretty hectic. Alright, and I want to make sure I'm center and lined up. Which should be there. Facing the right way. Oh no, right, there we go. Click it while I can. Now hopefully I have enough for containers, and yes I do realize I have them hot keyed and I just didn't even think about it. Okay, and then the same thing here, we line it up, go there, we go on this side, we'll put another one over here. Always gotta have that buffer. Always. And yeah. Alright, now now if we get various splitters. Uh, should be logistics, yes. Now, I thought originally you had to place them on, on a foundation or on the ground or something to feed the conveyors in. Apparently, you can actually just snap them right onto a conveyor that's already existing. So I can, I can come up here, take the conveyor off, and just go right into that container, just like so. Now, here's the issue with this. If this Okay, we'll do that. If the smelter can handle uh, 30 ore per minute, which is actually good, so two smelters coming off of one miner, is six, that's doing 60 per minute, these two are doing 30 per minute. And it needs power. It needs other stuff too, but we gotta get all that hooked up. I still gotta go upstairs with this thing too. Uh, then I'll run upstairs, and I have my staircase here, then we'll go up and check that out. And this is where that productivity display comes in really handy. Because it's really all about me having a proper way to get up here now. Here I go and build unlocked stairs, and I'm still building foundations. I'll leave that as a leave that as a reminder of how wasteful I am. Okay, so then I was saying down there, 30 per minute. So this one needs 15 per minute. So the smelter downstairs is producing 30 ingots per minute. This only needs 15 ingots per minute. So realistically, I could have two of these, four of these, running off of one miner. But th that's not going to be the case because we also need to get another one up and get cables going. So all cables are is just another, just wire going through a constructor, and I need reinforced plates for that. So then we will take care of that afterwards. Uh, we'll see that be that'll stop using power when it's full. What we got to do is we got to figure where we're, what I'm going to do with the assemblers. Now originally I was thinking of having conveyors just span right across, but they only go so far without any support, which means I would have to have uh, conveyor poles somehow. So. What I might do, and this is something I was thinking about since we can sort of abuse f physics here. Seems to be a seems to be low gravity on this planet because I can jump really high for some reason, especially when I'm carrying about thirty thousand tons of steel and iron and copper. But I was almost thinking of going across like so, leaving a bit of a gap so we can watch all this going on. The conveyor should reach to about here. And then come over here, and then we can have all the assemblers set up on this side. And I was thinking of having different buildings, but this this might work. This might work because all this stuff is going to have to go somewhere else, anyways. So let me do that, and I will bring you back. Okay, but it's, I decided just to fill the whole area in and go from there. I was at, actually thinking about extending all the way and putting the space elevator right on top of the platform sort of have everything all sort of worked around it we could even move the stuff downstairs up top but anyways we need to get a couple of assemblers going here so let's go to production we'll get a two assemblers going i need 
to make rotors and modular frames by hand. So this is where the rabbit hole begins. And I was talking about how expensive this stuff gets. So keep in mind, each plate is two ingots. Each rod is one ingot. Uh, yeah, that's plates. Every six screws, it's one ingot. Now we go down here, and I think it was every three wire. Oh, wait, we don't need, actually need wire. But every three wire is one copper. So that's... This is where things get interesting. So, as I was ta saying, this one here, this reinforced plate, is 12 iron. Uh, not enough inventory space. Of course not. There never is. Hmm. I won't get rid of these two because that stuff grows on trees. Alright, so, yeah, so 12 iron for one of those. Now, the next one we're going to be working on is the modular frames, which needs three of them. So, 36 plus 6 is 42. So 42 iron for one of these. And when we get to the heavy modular frames, we need 5 of those. Plus steel and other things. Alright, so I actually needed to make uh, the assemblers near the modular frames. Alright, so I gotta make a whole bunch of these. That's why I grabbed all those screws. Uh, that was my biggest bottleneck, believe it or not. My other playthrough was those screws. I had... I think I had four, three or four machines just dedicated to screws alone and just wasn't enough. Alright, so we got that. We can go ahead and make we need six of these. Four, five, six. Right? Yeah, three, and then we need eight, eight rotors, which are, are cheap. Like, the rotors and the stators into the motors was actually a relatively cheap one. So I wasn't too concerned about that. And hopefully, oh, that's not the right one. Hopefully this is the last time we'll actually have to craft anything by ourselves. Uh, I'm leaving a lot of space because uh, things are going to be going up and over in every which way possible because it's going to be uh, trying to figure out what goes where and i got to be able to split stuff if I need to. Uh, yeah, I still do, do, do have two more minor uh, iron deposits I can get going, but uh, we'll need them eventually. I'm just trying to figure out where to place this. Let's put it right here. Let's do it that way. Sure. We only need a couple of them right now. Uh, containers. Uh, do, do, do. Organization. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it occurred to me I had a hot bar again. Okay, so then we go like, let's see, there. And I am actually looking at that green arrow inside there. And that's all I, all I care about. I don't care about anything else. That in the conveyors, and we'll have to upgrade these too. And uh, in my opinion, the the second tier seem to be a little more pricier than the third tier, which is I I thought was kind of odd. But anyways, so we're gonna be having one making modular frames. So, and you can see here, uh, you'll need 12 reinforced iron plates a minute, and 24 20 yeah 24 iron rods per minute. Yeah, that's where things get interesting, actually. We need another assembler. Now that I think about it. Actually, no, I can stay here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's move back. Uh, the modular frames has to go through two assemblers. Uh, but yeah, let me get this down and get it hooked up, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I think we'll go out here with what we have. Uh, it's a good thing I made three, two extra generators. Uh, how long is that going to hold up? I have no idea. Oh, I got that in the wrong spot, did I? Yes, I did. Get this all back. Uh, yeah, like I, I want to make sure things are in line. I realize I need to make a fourth one of these. Uh, for now, there is basically no buffer for um, reinforced plates. All the reinforced plates go right into here, and that's what this that container is for. Now, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'll have to move this back. Maybe adjust this. Okay, I think this will work. So this one is going to be making the modular frames. So on the first one, we're going to need the reinforced plates. 
So that means we're going to take plates, bring plates into this side, and we need screws which are uh, all the way down here. Okay, so this is where things get interesting. This is why I actually left the room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a conveyor on this one to about here. Uh, let's see, actually, this one has to go into here because this is going to be making rotors. So we need screws in here as well. So I'm actually going to take that out. Actually, no, that's actually a good idea. Let's uh, do it this way instead, actually. Let us put a splitter down. We're going to have to put a couple of these, but this is just to make things a little more snappy, a little more out of play, uh, out of the way, right? I should have put that closer, but i got to make sure it reaches. Uh, the other ones are going to be going over top. So I'm going to do like that, and not like that. It doesn't like the shape. Alright, let's try this again. Go here, and like so. Alright, so that's going to be bringing screws out as soon as I do that. Okay, so that one's good to go. We got screws and plates going in. This one needs rods and plates. Okay, so rods were in here. And now we take this. We actually want to go to here. We want to have. Oh, we actually want to have a conveyor pole just to bring it up a tad. And that's actually going to be a little bit too much of a tad. So let's try here. Is that going to work? Of course it will. And then we can just go right down there like so. Alright, so that is getting rods. That is getting everything it needs. So that needs power. That's got rods and screws. This needs plates and screws. It needs power. And this one here is going to need going to need rods and reinforced plates. So the reinforced plates are coming out of here and the rods we're going to have to take right off of here. Uh, we're going to have to organize stuff already I can tell. Okay, perfect. I'm going to bring it down to here and just like so. Oh, one more canoe I got to do. All the way down to there. And then uh that container at the end and then we just pray to God we have enough power to keep this thing running okay oh no no there we go now show me the power okay we'll take you connect you there and there and there and then nothing over there needs power Okay, up we go, up we go, up we go. I need cable. I got a ton of wire on me. And that's the next thing we gotta do is get uh, the cable uh, cable be made. All right. Yeah, one of the things I do want to do, and this was something I was trying to do before, was get everything into a centralized sort of warehouse idea. But all in all, it's all gonna end up going to the space elevator anyway. So what's the point, right? Alright, so that's all three there. We'll hop over on this side and drop that down and see if we can actually reach. Is there a connection? It's free somewhere, somewhere. And show me a snappy. Wow. Everything's maxed out. And there we go. So now, everything's going to start coming up. We're already up to 80 megawatts now. So as you can see, we're starting to already have a bottleneck. We need 132 screws a minute on this one. And on this one over here, we need 120. So we need 252 screws per minute. Let's go see how much this output outputs. And yes, I did put stairs on the one side. I'm just too lazy to go and build on the other side or even go over there. So this is only doing 90 per minute. So in theory, if I were to put all three 
speed upgrades and you get 225 which would almost be enough to keep those two machines running so we might have to capture another mine probably one of those ones over there and get those going into this but for the time being this is working this is getting stuff automated and it's going to get us our first shipment in a space elevator oh 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 now what i want to try to do too is i want to try to keep the production down here all the plates and rods and screws being made to outdo the the need for the assemblers up here and then eventually the, the manufacturers wherever they go so we'll see how it goes yeah as you can see screws are already, already the bottleneck so we might have to build a big giant screw warehouse and move everything around and when the screws get bottlenecked the reinforced plates get bottlenecked but we have two of those already we have not made one of these yet because we're still waiting on uh, these things definitely got up to screw production I think we're actually going to do that just because we can uh, so let's see what the power situation is like yes I am going to be doing that a lot so I'll get used to it I certainly won't it hurts Okay, and up we go, up we go, uh, why did I come down here? I was going to check the power and all that, so we're spiking at about 100, so we do have to be careful with that, uh, like I said, you add speed upgrades, and you add power consumption upgrades. So, but anyways, the screws are mandatory, that's what we're going to do, and that's how it's going to go. We'll see how much power it uses too. It's going to use two and a half times the amount of power. So if it's using four megawatts right now, we'll put one of those in there. We'll overclock that. We'll overclock that. And we'll overclock that. Which I think might be an issue with the conveyors. Because I believe the conveyors only do 60 per minute. So this might actually be redundant. Until we get the next tier up, uh, conveyors, which sadly probably won't be until the next space, the first space elevator upgrade. And it won't tell us what we actually get in here. Maybe we just have to complete space elevator tier one. That's all it tells us. That's done. Just got jump pads, walkways, and color gun. All to me right now is useless. So let's run back over the space elevator and just see what it was. I think it was. I think it was 25 and 50. And come to think about it, I don't even think I need the modular frames right now. I think it was just reinforced plates. So I might have to halt production, do a quick little AFK, and then bring you back. This is getting hot in here. It's the middle of summer. We're experiencing temperatures we've never seen before. Uh, 75 modular uh, reinforced plates. The upside is we should have a couple of those modular frames made already. So if it takes three mo three reinforced plates to make one modular frame, it takes five modular frames to make one heavy modular frame. That's 15 of those things. That's 60 iron plates and uh, a lot of screws. All right, so it's actually a good thing that I got a container here. So we're going to turn that off because we don't actually need these right now. We have one. We're set. It's this I'm waiting for. So the screws I'm waiting for. And unfortunately, there's not much I can do because we're limited to conveyors. Uh, which is, of course, being held up by the space elevator. So, now, got six of those already. I'm going to do a cut here. I'm going to open the door, get some air in here. And, uh,. Let this stuff build up on its own, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I decided to help the system out a little bit. It's good thing I did too, because apparently I ran out of power. So let's go and uh, fill up the fuel tanks. Someone ran out of fuel here. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Oh. We overloaded. We spiked right there. Well. 
That means we're going to have to overclock one of these. Let's squeeze a little bit more juice out of here. Like so. I'll top out the fuel over here. And I decided to help out the production, like I said, just to make sure we actually got this done. Because the sooner I get into coal, the less the sooner I can stop having to worry about this and eventually get better conveyors. Sadly, the next tier conveyors is going to require the reinforced plates, but we might uh, just upgrade them where we need them, like areas before it splits. Like, as you can see, the copper line is moving quite smoothly on its own now. But anyways, the power is just holding up. We have about 5 megawatts to spare. Doesn't say much. No, it doesn't. So anyways, we're going to go back upstairs. I'm going to take the stairs I made. Yes, I built these all by myself. Isn't uh, am I not special? Just gotta be careful. It's a long way to drop down the middle if you're not careful. No, I don't mind these. I would like it if they did actually just have like side stairs like this, where you can just go straight up the side of buildings that are spiraling up. So we'll run over here. We'll grab whatever's in this container and whatever's in that container, if there's anything. So we'll take all. That gives me. 54 is just enough. And I actually have 75, so I'm not even gonna worry about those. So now we're gonna go fill this up. And uh, uh that's not my Wheaties. I was gonna say I better eat my Wheaties before I drop. It's a long way down. Yeah, I will be doing that quite a bit. I was actually I I'm actually thinking about hooking this up with a conveyor, but I still have to go over here and actually activate the thing. So 75 of those, 50 of those, we load it, seal it, and blast off. I think this is one of the, one of the rare occasions I've actually seen the space elevator go off at night. I like it. it's almost like a kinetic energy pulse that sends it flying up. Hmm. I wonder if they'll share that technology with us. So that unlocks tier three. So now we can run over here and we can see what we get in the hub. And yeah, I probably will be moving the hub because I'm gonna be have to I'm gonna be visiting it quite a bit. Fortunately it's easy to easy to move, it all gets packed up into one neat little package. So let's run up here and see what we have. All right, tier three and tier four, coal power, yes. So this is the buds, 25 of those, 25 of those. I was gonna get this produced, but we need power for that. We're gonna need that, we also need the Mark II logistics. And to improve things, we probably will get that, just to make things so much easier but we'll send that stuff off in the next episode because I realize we're running quite long on this one. But anyways, I uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, oh, there we go, there we go. I'll see you in the next one. Later.